Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nash Botai here. Welcome back to a brand new video. As today, I'm going to do my round two, uh, 2022 Everyone Fantasy team reveal. As right here, um, we we basically got the same. I basically got the same team as for this week. I'm going to go into for sick. As um, if if you're brand new to this channel, please like and subscribe for more low content coming in the near future. And yeah, lads, um, let's get into my, my my team reveal for round two in my 2022 fantasy, and also my 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 debut year for for playing fantasy for the first ever time. So the reason why um. I have um like like it, like my team unchanged for round two as um I had like I had like thoughts like of of trading like um not Ili not Elias because I thought for for me here you know looking at Elias is going is going is going to take take some time to to join with the harvest especially with especially with, with experience five eight uh Cody Walker which uh, I think I think think Cody Walker is going it's going to like Help him out there quite a lot there for the fantasy team uh, against Melbourne this week, and hopefully it will go good. And um, yeah, even though it's it's, it's going to be a big task to, to 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 get a lot of opportunities and to have a good key game up against Melbourne, um, I reckon Elias will will, will will actually improve and will get a little bit better. And I think I th think he will get much more points than we did for last week. And uh, yeah, um. And another thought I was going to do a change is um I was actually going to change up uh, Max King uh, sorry not not Max King I'm I'm actually was going to like um was going to like uh hang on a sec I think this is um hang on a sec uh, let me check the updated um thing I actually um moved Max King in the uh in change number fourteen if you can uh yeah there is um so actually uh so. so Sorry about that, lads. So um, I I actually I uh, moved back in the, into the in the interchange four uh, 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 as obviously Brad, Brad Schneider, uh, you know he's out because of of tested positive for COVID, and obviously uh, Valio is, is is out injured for a couple of weeks, um, but I I, I was going to trade off Valio and and Brad Schneider, and then, and then obviously in my head I thought myself well, Brad Schneider is only out for one game, and I thought myself well. It will be pretty silly to to, to try out a young, a young gun who is just who's, who's, who's just going to only, only going to be out for one game, and I, and I thought to myself, um, well, if he's going to be out, what about Valeria? Um, well, you know, I'll be looking around trying to try trying to trade um these players, and obviously I want I want I want, I want to spend like cheaper, so so I don't, I don't I don't use all my money in case in case if if, if my squad doesn't make me not enough money. In round two, and um, I thought myself, well, I could train with Tep Tep Morrell or either Will Smith, but I thought myself, well, Will Smith, um, I don't think he's he's going he's, he's going to have the best games. I think it will, will be it will be it will be average for the Golgus Titans, and um, I'm not sure about about Tep Morrell. I don't I, I don't think he's, he's going to get a lot of minutes himself, and I don't think he's going to score a lot of points himself as well. And I was watching. A couple of videos from the Daniel Fancy analysis. I think, think his name is, and, and, and actually interested. Well, unless there is other cheap players that that, that, that can they have much more much more points than what what Val, Valera uh, does, then yeah, go for it. But other than that, um, I think I think I think from from what, from what I've seen, uh, from from, from what I learned from a couple of videos, I'll uh, see if if, if, if I should try out Valera at Brad Schneider. I thought to myself, well, I think I think it's a big, big risk of, of like um keep on going for for more cash cows because if I keep on going f for more cash cows, um for a much more cheaper one that could possibly get, uh, get more points, yes. But you gotta remember, lads, this is um the, the this is we only have round one happening, and this season is, is going to be very uh, unpredictable. If round one has already showed us, so if I was you. I will just be careful and and just be really really wise because again because this game this year is going to be really, really unpredictable and we really don't know what's actually going to happen after the next couple of rounds in the season. Um, but what I will say is that um, you know, um, if I do get a cash cow, it could possibly um prevent prevent me of being an idiot because that play can only have one game. 
and become a fluke, or either he, he can get suspended in that game, or either he can get injured for possibly the rest of the season, as we've seen from a couple of young players such as Sean Russell and Hayes Dunster themselves. Um, and yeah, it's um, I I, I really I, I really don't don't think you, you should really. Risk um, uh, tr- trading these players um around, but I really think that my team here uh, seems fine. Um, there are a couple of players that that that, that are going, going going to take them time, and obviously I think I think Max King is is going is going to give a couple more decent points there um in the bench, which I think I think I think my bench players are looking right here with with with, with Ethan Bellamore. I think seeing it on team of the week, I believe, on on a on 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 a on the NRL website, I think it'll go pretty good again for Manly up against Sydney Roosters once again. Chris Randall was absolutely decent, and I think uh, he could be good against West Tigers as well. Um, we'll have to wait and see that. He could he could he could be scoring between uh forty five points uh, or fifty maybe once again. But yeah, uh, I don't I don't think. I don't think he, he's really going to go, go, going to score a lot of points of what he did against um the Roosters. Elias, I think I obviously I said before he, he he's going to improve, improve um against the Melbourne Storm in this game. So uh, yeah, the bench play is, is looking pretty good. Andrew Fafida didn't have the did, 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 was didn't have that much ball um against the against the the Canberra Raiders and um I reckon that. Um, he could be the player that that could possibly um, I don't know, man, on how he's going to go against the Eels, but I mean, he could be going a little bit more better than, than what he did, but I don't really think he's going to give me that much points in that. But who knows, man? I'm just going to keep it at the moment. I really don't 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 want, don't don't want to trade any players because there are the main cheap players that that that. That could be really valuable for your team itself, and I, I just reckon that it's just a big risk of just getting um much more cash cows, and I really and, and I really advise you that just be careful on who you trade. I mean, like if you have like players like Brand Smith or have Ryan Madison and Sean Russell, then yeah, sell them since um. Ryan Madison is not, not, not really on the roll uh, for, for for this um at the moment. Uh, Brad Bradford doesn't really know where where to play him for his actual role at the moment. Uh, as as of Nathan Brown coming back in there for lock and most of the boys is is it's been it's been it's been most of the play around there with Sean Lane on the left edge there. So um it could it could, it could be going there once again. But Ryan Madison at the moment is is, is really unknown at the moment and uh obviously Sean Ross is gonna be injured for, for a while. Obviously trade as uh, obviously trade as well. Brent Smith is, is obviously the same as well and um yeah um yeah uh for for the for the starters here um I was having a bit of a um a bit of a a bit of a back and forth I thought if I was going to captainize uh, Josh Curran, which I obviously scored me seventy two points, uh, round one, and I'm thinking about him possibly putting putting in, in capacity possibly to um to possibly go, go up and get, get, give me like eighty one or something like that. But I have heard they could they could be up and down, so don't really expect him to to, to possibly get, get get to this point once again against uh the the Goggins Times, which I do I do think that that Times will will be a little bit too good for the Warriors, so. I don't really see um, Josh Curran uh, like do, doing much as what he did, and as for James Tedesco, I really think that he, uh, as a captain, I think I think he's, he's going to prove he's going to prove a lot uh, against the Seagulls and the, the, the what he did from last week. And um, yeah, I think I think like me to tip him as, as a man match. Uh, by the way, go see that video. By the way, I just just uh, just uploaded um, a couple of hours ago. Um, I do do think that James uh, Tedesco. Is is possibly probably going to improve and and, st- and starting to to eye out for that for that for that daily M to get on the road for that and I'm just keeping Murray just in case um if he does like get like in jail I mean I doubt it but you know 
I just left Murray there as a vice captain, even though putting Tedesco as a captain doesn't really mean much to put anyone as vice captain at the moment, uh, to be honest. And um, yeah, obviously, Remani, um, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with with him and my in my fancy, but I do think he's he's going to improve. But for Paulo, I I do I, if if he, if he does if he does continue on what what he does and he doesn't get get us offloads as as what he does for for me points there on fantasy. Um, I do I do have massive concerns to him of of trading him on for for another prop maybe maybe trying for for Payne Haas if I really do have the money for him because um someone did actually warn me saying I could be in big trouble if Junior Paulo um doesn't perform well. And if Payne Huffs continues on his form, then I might have to um, then I might have to put put in uh, Payne Huffs in there, and possibly um maybe put him as captain and possibly put James Tedesco as vice captain as well. So, yeah. But at the moment, I'm gonna keep Jim Polo. He could be good as a, as a co-captain. I know it's the first round, but man, the man, a captain, a a. Co- a a co captain with Polo and Gufferson, they've got a lot, a lot of work to do against the Crocodiles and Southern Sharks this week. So, uh, yeah, it's it, that's gonna be a big, a big challenge for Polo to to get the forwards moving, and hopefully, the offload master can get up um as well and get and get and get those um and get those uh, other balls to other forwards as well. Um, with Jack Bird, I think I think. It, he was pretty. He was pretty decent for for the Dragons. I have heard that he has signed uh, a two year extension for the Dragons. He was in talks of, of, of going going to another club as as he 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 wasn't um the, the club the, the club itself um actually um allowed to get permission for for Jack Bird for his choice to 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 even, to even move on to another club. But it looks like that the club itself is is um possibly it, well it looks like. Sorry, Jack Bird itself is possibly um deciding to to actually to stay as he is he's, he's actually a finally um made, made decision to be happy and for, for finally stay a much more longer period at the St George Illinois Dragons, from from what I heard. John Nano was absolutely decent. Um, as I said, um, a lot, a lot of people have have J- J- John Nano in here as um is like ninety four nineteen four percent of people only him at the moment he's absolutely young gun and i would i would keep him as 100 percent. it would it would be absolutely we absolutely silly to trade as a uh, young player and um yeah i think i think he's gonna be absolutely pretty a pretty good point uh for me in the edges there on second row and um yeah for the halves i reckon Moses is, is, is going it's going to prove all way different from for last game and um i reckon moses and obviously nick hines the bit of a it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a it's a bit of really, um, a, a, t- a tight situation here, since since Nick Hines and Mitch Moses are going going up against each other, and um, obviously I want I want, I want my team to win. Obviously I want I want, I want, I want Moses to, to do good, but 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 also want but also want Nick Hines to do well as, as well. So it will be quite interesting on how on who is actually going 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 to, going to get over as as Nick Hines are, are only um only defeated only being Moses by points by by two. Um, points over, um, and yeah, the centers were absolutely um uh gun a gun for me for uh for last game, and I I I have no um I have no I have I have no reason why to trade them, but you know, um, yeah, it's, it's just a no brainer that you should keep uh Isatego as, as he's, he's, a, he's a very good cash cow. You in the centers right there, especially alongside with Seven Crying in there. Um, obviously for for the backs, uh, James James says as as a captain uh, is a no brainer. So um, I would I would him as a captain as well. Uh, Ryan Ryan Pabia was in, um is, is um uh, some people will tell me that it could, it could be good for for captain, but you know Pabia uh you know like from 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 what I see from for last week, you know. Wasn't really, wasn't really the best form. I know, I know, I know he he was injured, but uh, I don't know for for this week against South, but he could be. But at the moment, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm sticking to the play who I think is going to win the Daily M, and that is James Tedesco. I think I think Tedesco is, is going to work much more hard, and, and, and is going to run much more running meters than what, what Ryan Pabellson is going to do. And um, yeah, um, Xavier Coates, um, obviously not, not not the best in points. Bob's scored scored a fantastic try against the West Tigers, but I reckon he's going to go absolutely. Fit, Fantastic uh, uh, up against South and Rebels, a lot along with uh, uh, J- Justin Ollum, uh get, get himself to two try assist there for Xavier Coates and uh, making sure that he's, he scores scores the points that he needs and um, yeah um, you know uh, my team I reckon he is going to he is going to to is is going to to take time. On, on, what, on where I am, and I think I'm going to go pr- pretty well with with some with some other leagues I'm doing doing at the moment. As I will, I will show you the other leagues that that, 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 that I'm in at the moment. Um, as you, you, you guys may be wondering, um, there's some other leagues I'm playing at the moment. So, so obviously in, in the in the league first one, I obviously got first place in here. Um, as a as other couple of uh, people in here, um, my new gamble has pegs off. Um, I actually got what eight hundred eight points in here. Um, but his team basically like you know scores more averages than the my than my than my whole team. About like um, let's say. L- Let's just say like forty eight point five um like points. He his plays are I actually averaging, but for me I'm basically like averaging like forty like forty six um point two eight or something like that. Um, for my plays I'm actually averaging to score, but um yeah overall points lovely in. In the footy lads uh, league, I'm obviously coming first here, but I'm ranked at like uh, 21,203, which isn't bad. I mean, I still got a lot of more, more work to do. And considering that, you know, my team is my team is my team is much more cheaper than what the, the what the what this is fellow he has has built. Um, yeah, it's I'm I'm doing I'm doing pretty pretty good uh for for the fancy squad at the moment and um. Yeah, for 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 the other leagues, for Zin Tank nine nine, shout out to him. I'm obviously coming twenty eight, which is a lot more people getting getting, getting like near one thousand. Um, let's see where I am at the moment. So I am twenty eight here. Um, I'm behind Dead Eye seventy seven in Mill Express. Um, yeah. Overall, I am my, my my coming coming there. Yeah. Um, no, I'm 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 not not doing too bad at the moment in, in the league. I'm like. Mid table, I say, I say in here, I'm ju- just, just a, a below mid, I will say, and um, yeah, um, yeah, pre, yeah, not, not a bad start to round one for me. Um, it was official. Let's check that quickly. Um, it was official. Let's see here. Um, okay, well, obviously, I'm all the way down there, and um, yeah, um, that's basically um my team for, for for the for for round one and for round two I really do believe um I think he was gonna he was gonna who's going to score the highest I reckon um James Tedesco is gonna score the highest for me I reckon some players who else are going to score the highest is obviously Isaac Tego and Seth Crying. I think I think he's still still gonna be the biggest one of the biggest cash cows of my team so far, and obviously Josh Cohen is, is, is obviously going to go decent as well. Uh, hopefully, um, Murray can, can possibly improve, but I am a, a, little, a little bit for, a little bit worried for him as well as I do have the same concern for him in the future. Um, along with Paulo, if he doesn't like give us points as of him captures the the, the Celsian squad, then. I might be trying 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 off off with Isaiah Yo as um he, 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 he is the hot um a buy buy to, to to get the moment even though you know it is only round one and I know that he doesn't play full eighty minutes Isaiah Yo but 
you know, he does he, he does give you he, he does give you more points as a captain, more as a lock as what Murray is, is, is doing ourselves at the moment. So um I wouldn't mind it, but you know, um as a team right here, I hope that um my team the bench, you know, everything he is going to prove obviously um but Valeria is not going to like play with uh, Schneider as well, so um, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. But Thompson and Andrew Feeder, I hope they can at least give me some money and some more money than than what I did from um, from last week. As yeah, the emergency didn't did, did, did really do really get give me that much money from from what I did from from last week. So uh, yeah um. And if you also to to have the fantasy score that uh, missed out. Um other than that, um yeah, uh ladies and gentlemen, um this has been our sports loaded. Um I hope you guys enjoy enjoy my my Mario 2 team, team reveal for, for fantasy squad for this week and uh hope to good luck to to Toy Fantasy Squad and I do I do want I do want apologies for, for the stuttering and shit and fucking freezes in this video, I know, but I had I had to like get this get video out as quickly as I can. So I apologize for, for, for me for, for me for stuttering all over the place and that. But yeah, other than that, good, good luck to 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 fantasy teams for, for this week. And I hope you guys um I hope you guys enjoy this uh fantasy round two video. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been our spot. So uh take care and peace. Coming in. Hot.